حضرت امیر المومنین نرے تکبیر اسلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ اشہد اللہ الہ الا اللہ وحدہ لا شریک لہو واشہد انہا محمد عبدو ورسولو اما بعد فاؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین اہدن السراط المستقیم سراط الذین انمت علیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم ولدالیم حضرت مسیح مہود Messiah alayhi salatu wa salam regarding his community he says that these people who have been made by the hand of Allah Almighty they are such people that Allah Almighty will cause his tremendous blessings to descend upon them and he said that in our community there are thousands of such people who have the blessing of revelation and through the dreams they have been told. And uh, the Holy Prophet وسلم, himself has endorsed this uh, point that this system is from Allah Almighty and uh, this is this way of their uh, getting into initiation. Today I would like to mention some of those people or narrate their incidents, those who have been uh, those who have been made by Allah's hand and are enabled them to enter into that community which has been made by the hand of Allah and uh, blessings of Allah descended upon them and uh, these will co continue to descend upon those people those who would become the part of this community these people n those uh, people who during the lifetime of the promised Messiah may became the part of this community this community which were made by the hand of Allah Almighty they have this uh, special quality about them that uh, they have uh, by giving their hand into the hand of the Imam of the age they have done the bath and these were the people uh, who got the position of uh, as if being connected with the companions of the Holy Prophet and their lives before they did uh, initiation were such that uh, when you read their account it appears as if uh, because of their good qualities Allah, which were present in them beforehand Allah Almighty captured them with hand and brought them to the uh, to the Imam of the age as I said today I would like to mention some of the incidents of those people those who performed bath at the promise hand of the promise Messiah 
and this is also a great proof of the truth of the promised Messiah as Salatu Islam and also a source of increase of our faith. The first narration is from Mia Abdul Razak Sahib. He narrates that in, an, in 1900 I fell ill and after eight days I was able to walk around. In those days I saw in the dream that Hadrat Masih Maudullah Islam is sitting on my bed and somebody suggests that this is uh, indicates that he is this is Mirza Sahib. And after that, for my business, I went to Delhi, and those were rainy days. And sometime I used to run fever. On my way back, uh, I had this idea that I should be going to Kadian, and I should uh, uh, mention about my sickness to Hazrat Khalifa Nuruddin Sahib and get uh, some medicine. And then I came back to my home. And uh, from the morning uh, till midday, uh, he continued to see the patients. That when my turn came, that when my turn came, I thought that I do not have any specific uh, uh, problem. I didn't mention anything. There was azan from the mosque, and then I went to offer the prayer. Hazrat Masih Maudullah uh, came from inside. When I saw him offering the prayer, I thought that this face cannot be the face of a liar. And before that, uh, I used to listen to the discussions of the people that uh, they falsely allege. And uh, at that time, uh, the, my heart immediately indicated to me that uh, I should do the bath instantly. And, uh, and the matter will be settled immediately. Musim uh, Islam went inside, and I went to Mawli Abdul Karim Sahib. And, uh, I, I knew Pali Abdul Karim Sahib beforehand, but he could not recognize me. When I mentioned about Sialkot and mentioned the name of my father, then very happily he said that you are son of my friend. And when I said that I would like to be initiated, help me, he said that you stay here and ponder over it and then do the bath. And I said that I have come from long distance, so get me initiated today so that I can go back. So he said that in the evening I will request this to Huzur. Uh, so in the evening, when Hazur sat in his uh, sitting position, sitting seat, and Wali Abdul Karim Sahib also sat uh, uh, close to him, I started pressing the feet of the Promised Messiah, and Mawli Sahib mentioned that he is the friend, uh, son of my friend. He should be initiated. Uh, Hazur asked, uh, when did he come? Mawli Sahib mentioned that he came today. Hazur Sahib told that uh, he should stay for a few days. Then I will get the bath. And. Uh, uh, Mawli Sahib said that I said the same thing to him, but he, because of his business, he wants to go very quickly. Uh, Hadra Sahib uh, addressing me told me that you stay here for some time. So I said I will stay for a day, and next day the bath took place. Mawli Mehruddin Sahib, uh, who was a dis uh, student of Puranuddin Sahib, he relates that uh, one day, as usual, I I went to Jhelum for my regular dars, and I I came to know that he has gone to the house of uh, Jahandad Khan Sahib. So I left my luggage somewhere and went to the that house, and there was a, a guard outside, uh, and I told him that uh, inside uh, the van with red beard, that is Mali Burhanuddin Sahib, and uh, tell him that uh, Mehrdin from Lala Musa has come and he wants to meet you. So in reply, he sent the message that uh, let him come in. And I went inside and I said, Assalamu alaikum, Raja Jahandad Sahib said, is he also an Ahmadi? Uh, uh, I said, yes. So far as contacts are concerned, I am uh, uh, I'm also an Ahmadi and I am uh, uh, much uh, higher in rank than Mawli Sahib. And, uh, uh, when uh, uh, he mentioned that the name of Hadrat, the Holy Prophet ﷺ was Ahmad and Ahmad, Muhammad, both. And uh, this is the period of uh, showing the manifestation of the word Ahmad. And uh, uh, previously, these people, they used to call us Mirzai and Ahmadi. And uh, one Malvi, we, we have received this uh, 
a report earlier on uh, recently that somebody uh, uh, he, he said that they don't call them like this because they become uh, become the believers and he asked about the time of the train and there i said about 15 minutes are there he said you stay here and don't go back and i said that i have uh, handed over myself to uh, the promised messiah uh, and there was somebody uh, who was having a debate uh, with another person rada pende khan sahib was having a debate with someone uh, and sayyid sahib told uh, uh, him that you have uh, been caught into the deception of mirza sahib because mirza sahib told you that he uh, he mirza sahib told you that i have got a revelation about you but the fact of the matter is that when mirza sahib wrote the book prahina madiya i read that book so then i thought that this person is going to become something in future so therefore let me let me see him so i came to kadian to see him so i came to know that he has gone to husharpur i said it's very difficult to come again and again so let's uh, let me go to husharpur and see him so i inquired about his address somebody told me that uh, that uh, on the carriage on which he has gone the um, the uh, uh, the ox in that uh, uh, carriage they are white in color they would be might be coming at this time so when i was on the way then this uh, carriage that uh, boat carrying that uh, carriage uh, was uh, had left there so i couldn't find the way so when i arrived there that mirza mirza sahib was uh, khuda bakhsh sahib was as a servant attending him so he was uh, so then i asked him where is mirza sahib he said that uh, you find him somewhere in the city so i don't know that whether the promise messiah stopped him not to tell anybody or he just uh, told me like that so anyway i arrived at his house and uh, knocked at the door the servant came outside and i asked him who is there so i said i am burhanuddin from jhelum and i have come to see the mirza sahib he said let me seek the permission so when he went inside so immediately at that time i i, I got the revelation that in persian that the place where you had to reach you have reached there so the servant uh, came out with the message that i am not, i don't have any time so you come again so then i told the servant that my house is very far away i will sit here when he will find time then i will be able to see him then uh, when the servant went inside Uh, to tell him about that in the meantime he got a revelation in arabic so when the guest is there then you have to look after the guest so he told immediately the servant that you go and open the door and huzur met me with a smiling face and he said that just now i have got this revelation and uh, he, uh, he to- and i told that i in persian uh, i have been told uh, this in uh, by allah that you don't have to go uh, and stay here so when i stayed there for a few days for 3 days so i saw the condition of the promised messiah that he did not uh, have any food and he would come at the prayer time he would bring the water and he do the wuzu and then uh, offer the prayer and then go inside mirza azam beg husharpuri uh, he was one acquaintance of mine he was there so i went to see him he told me that uh, molvi ji uh, uh, what brought you here i said i just came to see mirza sahib he said which mirza sahib you are talking about he said mirza ghulam mohammad qadiani he said that uh, he was a very good person but uh, he has got uh, uh, bad he is no longer good and uh, he was uh, he said that his uh, he he did not uh, like to play with the children and the father was not very happy about that uh, he said uh, alhamdulillah and i uh, and i uh, and he asked that what is this occasion well, i asked what is this occasion of saying alhamdulillah so he said uh, that uh, the uh, the period about which i was inquiring you have given a witness about that and uh, then he said that what condition have you seen now he said that uh, for three uh, day, three times on end he does not eat food and he offered the prayer uh, along with us and then the rest of the time is spent in solitude and uh, then he uh, he is uh, there as if he has to go for 50 mile distance and uh, my conscience tells me that he is a very nice person but he has uh, become bad uh, in this uh, in this way that he says that salvation lies in my feet and because he has given the advertisement in the magazine and the next day he brought the announcement in the revelation 
and this was the same announcement which was given about Ibrahim Ahmadiyya that the Holy Quran is the book of Allah and the Holy Prophet وسلم, is his messenger and I can give you 300 uh, uh, arguments regarding the truth of these matters who is going to break these uh, uh, arguments even one fourth of it so then I'm giving him a part of my estate so uh, uh, I said that you, have, you are mistaken that when he is ready to give his uh, belongings and he is the one who is lost in the love of Allah then uh, he is completely completely absorbed he said it looks that you have also become a part of his <coughs> uh, because at that time a bath was not started so he said that you have become a follower so I said, no, he has not yet started taking the bath. So they say, those people sometimes object that uh, some of the ulama, they have done, done the bath. And uh, one can uh, see, the, uh, see the reality by looking at their condition. And the present day ulama, they are uh, no match to them. Then Bahawal Shah said that when I started from Batala, and then I inquired about the Promised Messiah, then uh, whosoever I, I met, he said, that don't go there, he's like this, like this, and the and the, the people say so many things bad about him, you will also become bad. But I would say that now I have come, whatever may happen, if it is uh, true, then I don't, I'm not afraid of the mullahs. And finally in 1988, 1888, uh, I reached Qadian, there was still a light, and Mr. Islam was sitting, and um, Mukhlif Awwal and Mufti Abdul Karim Sahib and Mufti Sahib, there were some other people who were sitting there. Molvi Abdul Qadir Ludhiani, uh, he was standing on the stairs near the mosque that uh, he was a, a teacher of Molvi Abdul Haq Sahib and he was also, uh, he also knew me. He met me very happily, very warmly and he was very happy. I also was very happy to see him and he said that have you come to do the bath? I said I have come to request him for prayer. He said, are you afraid of uh, the mullahs? I said, no, I'm not afraid of mullahs. Uh, but the truth of the promised Messiah has become manifest to me by just looking at his face, because this face is not the face of a liar. And at that time, uh, it was time of sunset, close to sunset, and another person had also come for bath, and he said that, uh, kindly accept my bath, and I have to go back to my house. He said, you stay some time more. You have to make full investigation and satisfaction. And then there were some other discussions. And Mawli Abdul Qadir Sahib told uh, about me that he wants to do the bath. Hadrat Musim Audley Aslat Islam, who was sitting in a higher place, he sat down at a lower place and said, the one who wants to do the bath, uh, he should come. That person was also very close. I immediately started walking from the stairs and uh, from a distance of two or three feet, I sat there and it was so impressed my heart and as if somebody pulls me and I started crying and uh, helplessly I sat there and I offered my hand into the hand of the promised Messiah and two of us we did the bath at the hand of the promised Messiah and after that we requested Huzur uh, to pray for uh, regarding the case in the court and after that uh, I stayed for 10 days more in the company of the promised Messiah and uh, we used to have food at one uh, you know, tablecloth, uh, uh, one table, along with Huzur. And, uh, and uh, his style was very unique. And, uh, and his face was quite uh, radiant and very visibly different from other uh, people. And I fell into so much love in Qadian and Huzur that I did not like to go back. Qadian was really a model of uh, paradise, where uh, nothing was mentioned except except the zikr mention of uh, uh, Allah and uh, the worldly things were not mentioned there everywhere peace and peace was being heard and all the my doubts and uh, they were completely removed and uh, when there was a, a, a false litigation of uh, a, you know murder against the promised Messiah with the help of uh, some young boy and uh, some people suggested to me that uh, you have done the bath and the, you have seen the promised Messiah, now do you go back? And then you come again and have a look again. At that I went to my home next day. And after doing my bath, my condition completely changed. 
and I developed so much love with Allah and the Messenger, the Holy Prophet ﷺ that I didn't like to sleep during the night. And if I used to fall asleep, then I would uh, uh, woke up uh, 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 surprised. And, uh, and occasionally I felt as if somebody is washing my ha heart inside and my, the melting of the soul and dedication that was increasing all the time. And one day in this condition, uh, I felt that somebody has cut my, uh, my heart and somebody has washed it up. And a new spirit, which is known as the spirit of truth, the pure spirit that has been infused in that, I consider myself like a pregnant lady. And uh, there is a child in my belly and in my uterus. And uh, there was all light and noor everywhere. And there was, uh, by mention of that, was so interesting and so rewarding to me that I always enjoyed. And even the people, they used to enjoy the prayer who used to uh, offer the prayer behind me. And they used to say that, uh, what a wonderful prayer you have led. This was the wonderful changes, Zur says, which were uh, to be seen among those people as a result of the performing their bath at the hand of the Promised Messiah. And this uh, case and litigation which he mentioned earlier on, that case uh, was uh, was uh, decided, uh, that was finished uh, as soon as I reached uh, back home. So that is to say that uh, uh, he just, uh, Allah Almighty, made a means that I should go to Promised Messiah. And uh, through that, uh, he, he took me to the heavens and showed me there. And uh, I used to take the books of the Promised Messiah and the books of the a non these opponents, and I used to study it extensively. The arguments of the uh, given by the Promised Messiah, Islam, I used to study them in the light of the verses of the Holy Quran. One day I was studying, and I was wondering that what a scholar is he that he is writing such a wonderful book. And I fell into sleep during that time, and I got a revelation. Uh, and then I got a revelation in Arabic. And uh, this revelation it fell upon my heart just as something it comes into the heart and immediately it came to my tongue and the meaning was told me that this uh, great scholar is is such a people that when a, then a, when the prophets came to them these people are such that when a, a warner like a prophet came to them that they were immediately surprised so he says that uh, uh, I, I used to have the revelations extensively, but I don't remember all of them. And now those people who criticize the books of the Promised Messiah, Islam, they want to find something which is objectionable. Now on the TV channels, there is a propaganda about that, and everything is presented in a twisted way. Whenever uh, those people, those, those uh, uh, teams, those have been made there uh, to reply, then their telephones are shut off because they don't have the reply to that. And uh, there is one revelation among them that uh, you uh, see that Mirza, Mirza Mazar Mira. And he says that uh, he knew the whole of the Quran at that time. Whenever there was any objection against the promised Messiah, then I used to I immediately think of a certain verse of the Holy Quran and with the help of the Holy Quran I used to reply. Once a we came to me and he said that uh, the death of Hadrat Isa, show me where is that mentioned, where the word moth has been mentioned there. Allah, I said Allah Almighty says, that there is none from the ahl bayt uh, uh, and uh, and uh, there are all those people uh, regarding that the word uh, uh, they have they have died in a natural death and uh, they would uh, believe in that one that they did not die on the cross rather they died as a natural death so then a scholarly discussion that this the word bahi is related to 
and motehi uh, that means the natural death of hazrat uh, isa and that he will bear witness on the day of judgment that i did not die with the killing or the from this cross but i died natural death and uh, by listening to that one the molvi immediately ran away hazrat jan mohammed sahib uh, well son of abdul ofar sahib he says from daska he says that uh, when i arrived daska then i felt uh, my heart uh, Uh, scolded me that uh, uh, I then it came to me that I should do istikhara and um, from his passage says that one should always do istikhara for everything so in sajda prostration I extensively prayed to Allah Almighty that oh Allah you are the one who gives the guidance so so if this thing is from you and then you he give me the guidance and after that uh, Hazrat Pir Hasan Shah Sahib who was my uh, spiritual guidance. Uh, Nakshbandi Mujaddadi, uh, he has uh, he has uh, he has died. At that time, he appeared to me in the dream, as he used to meet me while he was alive, and he said that uh, today uh, he is the ruler. So immediately do the bath, and after a few days, uh, along with the uh, Hazrat Shah Sahib uh, came, and uh, Shah Sahib, in a very respectfully, he he was sitting in the company of this uh, a very age. Uh, scholar with a illuminated face and he pointed out to me that have you not asked him to do the bath shah sab said that uh, i have uh, told him but i don't know what he is thinking and then this uh, uh, with a with a lit up face this uh, uh, saint and then he said again the same thing and then uh, another uh, um, uh, great scholar another saintly person he uh, was also seen and uh, all those uh, all those were sitting in the presence of the uh, third uh, great person and uh, they also he also said that uh, shah sahib that uh, have you not asked this person to do the bath and uh, and uh, shah sahib said that i have told him but i don't know what he is uh, contemplating and then he per that person uh, uh, said very loud voice that he should do the bath immediately otherwise he will feel sorry for that later on and i got up immediately and my wife asked me what happened so i related him the whole thing so my wife told me that when you are being told to do the bath again and again then why don't you do it and it was 1901 when the census was being taken so i asked the patwari uh, that he should write the word ahmadi uh, in that column and hazrat msi maud alaihi salatu wasalam said that whatever i have uh, and uh, and hazrat uh, msi maud alaihi salatu wasalam has mentioned that only those people should uh, uh, those should they should give their name in amdi uh, those who have done the bath and i put the name uh, i put the word amdi regarding my wife and children as well and uh, i i took leave and i went to qadian Uh, in the company of the hazrat msi maud alaihi salatu wasalam and uh, after the maghrib prayer then uh, huzur used to take some rest after the isha prayer and uh, he used to tell us very uh, beautiful words uh, and this was very enjoyable moments so when huzur sat on that day on this uh, position so then uh, the sample self requested for uh, in, in to be initiated uh, uh, hazrat msi maud alaihi salatu wasalam said that where have you come from so the sample self mentioned that uh, i am uh, from uh, daska district sialkota i am a persian teacher in that school so he said that uh, huzur said that uh, then you will have taken leave huzur said there are quite a few days 10 days you have taken leave so you stay here and i increased in my faith and my heart uh, witness that huzur is uh, right and he gives us the lesson of being in the company of the righteous and after 5 days huzur uh, uh, after 5 days i requested for bath again and huzur asked how many leaves are still days of leaves are there huzur said there are five more so uh, huzur said uh, you stay here and during that period huzur mentioned regarding those things about which i wanted to know and many queries were answered and there was no need for me to ask any further question i used to sit very close to huzur 
so that uh, I should get blessing from the clothes of the promised Messiah and I should be able to touch his body. And whatever time I could find, I used to press his feet. And when there was only one day in my living, so then this uh, humble self uh, requested to him that there is only one day left. And day after tomorrow, I have to uh, go back to my school. So, and I kindly accept my bath, and Hazur offered his hand, and he did ex accept my bath and prayed for us. Ghulam Mustafa Sahib uh, says that uh, several times, several times I had the honor of uh, meeting the Holy Prophet in different ways. Once I was in uh, Badina Munavra, and I and I k k went close to the a grave of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, and I saw that there are waves of light as if they are moving very quickly. And uh, and the same sort of scenario was seen by me uh, when I was offering the nafal after the prayer, then I saw the same. So when I came to here in 1906, then uh, both my elder brothers, Mahamim Sahib and Yasin Sahib, uh, and they had done the bath. So I uh, for a few days, I did not offer the prayer with them, but I was given uh, to read uh, Anjami Atham, the book of the Promised Messiah. And when uh, the challenge of Mubala, which the Promised Messiah gave, then I became uh, uh, full of emotion and I said that uh, now uh, let's go and see this light and this uh, meet this person. So uh, three of us, three brothers, we went to Qadian and um, Masjid Mubarak was very small in those days. We sat there, and when the promised Messiah came, the people stood up. And uh, at that time, uh, we couldn't see his face. But when Hadrat Takdas, uh, when Hadrat Takdas uh, went inside and sat there, then the uh, it was exactly the same as I was shown. This, uh, the, this uh, the scene that I was shown in the dream while I was in Medina. And uh, I offered my hand and Huzur, because he had stayed in Hong Kong, so Huzur asked certain questions about there. And when I remember that time, then I can't hold back my tears. And when I um, requested leave, then he came with us and Hadrat Mawli Muhammad Ismail Sahib, son of Fakhruddin Sahib says, in 1893, first time I came to Qadian. In those days I saw in the dream that uh, towards the south there is a large crowd uh, who are uh, who are uh, holding, uh, the people are standing there as if there is a fun there and uh, I went there and I considered myself as a child so in, in order to see the fun so I uh, thrusted my head through the legs of the people and uh, then I went inside closer, and when I closed, came to the circle, then it was light, dazzling light. And at that time, I told a person, uh, lowering my eyes, that, uh, brother, what is here? He said, that don't you know? Uh, he said that uh, the Messiah has come. This is the light of that Messiah. And this is the, uh, I mean, this uh, uh, excitement is about that. And I mentioned this uh, to Molvi Sahib, the stream, and he said, what's the delay now? I said, no delay. And when I went to Hadrat Masih Maudalai Islam to offer my bath, and it was my fortune that another person was also uh, doing the bath. And Huzur asked him that you say that you, give, you will give preference uh, to my faith, uh, to your, my faith over worldly things. So he said that if you make a promise and then you go back and don't follow that, it's not good. So, so you, those people who are sometimes hesitant or they consider it very difficult, there is a lesson in them that when you are able to give preference to your religion over the world, then you should do the bath. And uh, there were debates with the people uh, on, the, uh, on the several issues, and the people used to say he's Mirzai. And when I used to come here, then... Uh, Nobody would uh, mention mention uh, about me, and then I would think that uh, as if I don't enjoy any position at all. So uh, when uh, I go to Amadis, they say you are non Amadi, and when non Amadis there I go, they say you are an Amadi. So when I came at that time, 
at that time I did not have any idea of doing bath myself. It was the last day of my leave. After the evening prayer, Hazur sat in his normal place and towards the south, uh, he sat there and I was uh, sitting, uh, I was lying on my back. Hazur said that those who are doing, uh, want to do the bath, they should come. So when he said that these people should come forward, so immediately I ran toward him. And, uh, and I was the first in the line, and uh, I was the only one at that time. Hazur held my hand, and then he held, held it strongly. And, uh, and uh, then I realized later on that the thought in which I have wasted my seven years, that was wrong. And he used to take the pledge that I will give preference to my religion over the world. But actually the fact was that he used to uh, make the people like that. This was the result of his spiritual power. Hakeem Atah Muhammad Sahib, if the intention is right, then Allah Almighty also helps those people. Hakeem Atah Muhammad Sahib, son of Hafiz Ghulam Rasul Sahib, he says that uh, I was about 15 years old that my father passed away and uh, my late father who was very regular in prayer but after his death uh, those people uh, I became so slack that I even did not get, take care of the prayer and I was just climbing the stairs and uh, the azan, the sound of uh, the voice of azan came into my ears it was very melodious it was very attractive and uh, my condition changed uh, instantly uh, and uh, I was, uh, you know, extremely excited and there, the voice coming from my heart says that there was a time when you were so regular in five daily prayers and uh, I started crying and my heart was inclined towards prayer and I wept vehemently at the stairs and I sought uh, permission from Allah Almighty, forgiveness and in that condition, without even taking my food, I just uh, went to sleep and I saw in the dream that uh, uh, the uh, the worshippers of my mahalla, my area, they are uh, capturing me and taking me to the mosque and I am trying to run away. And on an elevated place, there is a very beautiful person who is sitting there. A person was sitting there on the way and his face was extremely illuminated. And uh, the rays of light uh, were coming out from his face and his mouth. They were in going to the faces of the people and the people and the people were sitting around him with the attraction of that light coming to them and uh, I, I, he asked what is happening I said these people are forcing me to go to the mosque and I don't want to go so he said to those people that leave him alone and uh, he, he asked me to sit uh, along with those people who were sitting there so they, when they saw these people, then their faces became very black and then they disappeared. And when I got up, then it was a strange condition. Uh, the keen desire to see that beautiful face and the impact of those uh, uh, radiant lights was so much uh, 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 in my heart that my words cannot describe that. I immediately performed wuzu and after 1894 when my father died and 1901, after that first time I offered the prayer with the heart and soul in it and I then came out with the great uh, and then a person uh, called upon me and he said that uh, oh Khalifa Sahib please tell me this word because my father and uh, my grandfather they were Hafiz and uh, they were teacher so the, Ahle, uh, the people of my locality uh, they used to call me the Khalifa in relation to this and I told him the word and Sufi Sahib told very affectionately that Khalifa Sahib you should occasionally come to me and uh, uh, tell me something about the Holy Quran little by bit so I mentioned the dream last night uh, he said that uh, you go to Batala and then immediately go to Qadian and you see that person uh, when you are awake so then if you find it that way then immediately get initiated next day uh, I, uh, Sufi Ahmadin Sahib, I inquired about the path, the way, and I went to Qadian in Masjid Aqsa. 
Sarsavi Sahib was uh, uh, educating the children. He, along with the child, he sent me to the guest house. And uh, Mia Hamad Ali Sahib gave me the food there. And after that, I went to the mosque of the Prophet and uh, Mawli Muhammad Hassan Sahib in Masjid Mubarak. And then I met Mawli Muhammad Hassan Sahib. And then Hazur brought some proof when I had a look at him. Then I saw that uh, a, a person with radiant face once again. And the same evening I did my bath. And my age was nearly 2021, 20, Alhamdulillah. Hazrat Miya Rahim Bakhsh Sahib narrates that uh, a person, Tajuddin name, with the name, is very strongly opposed. Opponent, two of his sons are uh, Ahmadis. And he said that uh, the Japan is in uh, search, in need of uh, a religion. So from the Islam, in the side of Islam, there is only one Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is enough, and nobody can stand in front of him. So whether you consider him a wali or a magician, whatever you may call, but whosoever goes, he's kept, he is he uh, is uh, you know uh, won over by him. And after seeing the stream, uh, I was impressed. I thought that I must see this person. That I met met one Muhammad Ibrahim Ahmadi, and I just talked to him for a while, and I was very much influenced and convinced. And then I saw the dream that we four, four of our brother, we are on a mountain, we don't find any way. So I climbed the mountain on one side, and I saw that the, the train is uh, uh, going there, but it is quite high from the level of the ground. So I was wondering, how can I reach there? So then somebody said that the rope which is uh, descending from heaven, you hold fast to that one, and then you ascend. You can make the ascendance. And then I, I told this, uh, a dream, and uh, he said, I, I narrated the dream to someone, and he said that Fata se muhablullah, that subject is mentioned in your dream. So immediately I uh, wrote a letter, and the reply came within few days that uh, you bath is accepted, but do come to Qadian. So anyway, I went to Qadian, Huzur was sitting in the company, I was standing in front of him, and I was clean shaved, no mustaches, and Huzur was standing in front of me, so uh, uh, he said that unless I see the face of this person, I will not uh, accept that. And after that, he raised his face. I looked at that, and I said, you are a truthful person. And then I said, Amanna wa saddakna, that I, you are a, tr a truthful person. I believe in you, and I am completely sacrificed for you. And Huzur uh, went inside to offer the prayer. After offering the prayer, he wanted to go inside. and. Uh, Somebody said that, uh, oh, please pray for me. Nazur said that you are in my bath. I even pray for my enemies. Hadrat Chaudhary Muhammad Jain Sahib, Taylor Master narrates that 1903 I was in Travel Pindi. I heard that Huzur is coming to Jhelum for a court case. So I went to Jhelum at the time of the court. I, there was a person from Salkot, he was also with me. I asked him, where do you go? He said, I am going to see Mirza Sahib. I asked, what do you want to see? Uh, he said that, uh, and he has got some uh, uh, some uh, some uh, gloves over his hand and some covering on the face. So God forbid he has covered something. So he said, uh, uh, I said that if this is not the case, then what would you uh, uh, what would you say? So I said immediately let's go and see. But he disappeared there. So in the residence, Mali Madhasan I was uh, delivering lecture. I thought uh, uh, he also did not know that Masih Maudla Salatu Salam, but he knew that. Uh, the, that other person was telling a lie. Mawli Muhammad Hassan Sahib was delivering a lecture and I thought he was uh, the promised Messiah. And when he mentioned Hazur in his uh, lecture, then I realized that he is not Mirza Sahib. And after that there was time for food. And uh, Munshi Abdullah Sahib from Salkut, he was there, he was also having food. 
So he said that you also have the food. I said, uh, okay, I sat down, but I actually did not uh, have any food. I was in search of Mirza Sahib, so I went there. Other Mirza Sahib, Mirza Mulanuddin Sahib was having food. If somebody says that you have the food to me, then I will have the food here. So immediately that Munshi Abdullah, he put his hand on my shoulder and he said, sit here and have your food. So I sat there and Hazrat Sahib was also having his food there. So it came to my mind that if Hazrat Mirza Sahib from his plate, if I could get a morsel of that, so then I will be very lucky. Immediately Mawli Abdul Kareem Sahib, uh, Mawli Abdul Kareem Sahib uh, picked up that uh, plate because the Muslim Audiyah Salat Islam has finished. So Mawli Sahib took the blessed food and also I, it finally came to me and I also get the blessing, some food from there. Then it was announced that those who want to do the bath, they should come. Several people were there. I was sitting far away. It uh, came to my mind that if Hadrat uh, Muslim Audiyah Salam, if I put uh, to his bath by putting his hand into his hand, then it will be much more wonderful. So then the organizer said that please move forward and gradually I came very close to Hazrat Musim Islam and exactly that was fulfilled which came into my heart. My hand was right over the hand of the promised Messiah and uh, other people they did the bath by putting their hands or holding fast to the turban. So these uh, good desires which uh, emanated from his heart, Allah Almighty fulfilled all those immediately and the allegation was also rejected. Hazrat Noor Muhammad Sahib uh, narrates that this humble self uh, in 1905, I did bath when I was 30. My younger brother, Mia Nur Ahmad, with name, uh, he was in a private school and uh, in district uh, Shorecourt, he was uh, a student there. He, in 1900, did the bath through some other person. He did the bath. He was a very dedicated person and he was, uh, he was a true lover of the promised Messiah. And uh, regarding him, in Hakikatul Wahi, in page 324, in, uh, in, in the sign 141, he is mentioned there. He used to tell me, but I did not accept that. Finally, he gave me one copy of the Holy Quran with the translation of Shah Rafi Din Sahib. Uh, the translation, uh, he gave me a copy of that one that you recite this uh, every day regularly and pray to Allah. And then he told me that uh, you do the istikhara for 40 days and I did the istikhara and uh, by the grace of Allah I got the support and help from the Holy Quran and when it was close to 40 days then uh, I, I, I developed keen desire that I should go uh, to the promised Messiah and do the bath and because of the distance uh, uh, I could not meet my brother there but because of the love uh, Moli, uh, another Molly who has done the bar, done his bath before and uh, I through that I asked him the requested that my bath should be effected immediately but uh, but uh, but uh, I was made to stay there for five years and uh, because of my keen desire I requested again and again and I offered the prayer with the promised Messiah and one day I thought of a special occasion Hazrat Musim Islam, he used to offer the prayer on the right hand side, always on one place, there was one fixed place. And on the fourth day, uh, without any regard for my other uh, friend, I, I got uh, my place right to that place where the Promised Messiah used to pray. The people started coming and finally the mosque was full. Hazrat Musim Islam came and uh, the prayer started and I offered the prayer right by the side of the promised Messiah and uh, shook hand first of all and requested for prayer. And uh, during that time, uh, uh, Hazur started talking to me. And at that time, Akbar al Badr and al Hakam and uh, the, the uh, rep uh, news reporter, he started everything and everything is mentioned in the newspaper. But I don't remember the date, but it was 1905. Yeah, I searched. I searched uh, very much, but I couldn't find the narration. Hazur asked, what is your name? So in reply, I mentioned my name is Noor Muhammad. So regarding the caste, I said I am from Khokhar's caste. And then asked about the district. I said I am from Multan. He said, what do you do? I said that 
that there is a Sayyid Sahib in Multan, in Sayyid Wala. There is a small village, and there is a, I am the the one who looks after the finance there. And that uh, what is the religion of Sayyid? So I said he is Shia. He said, uh, does he not oppose you, or will he not oppose you? I said, Huzoor, uh, in opposition, uh, at the most, if he is opposed to me, then he will uh, uh, turn me off from my uh, employment. Huzoor said that, uh, what sort of area is that? Is it uh, irrigation or through the rainfall? Uh, he said, uh, what do you grow in that area? And the canal from which river? And what is the name of that? So I mentioned everything that uh, we have different type of crops, and the name is like this. It is from the river uh, Ravi. And then uh, Huzur said that the uh, land is very fertile. Huzur then took my hand into his hand, and he said that uh, other people should extend their turbans. And those people, some uh, some uh, someone who was behind me, he put his hand on my back. And those people, the far away, they uh, were connected with the turban. And Huzur recited the wording of the prayer, and we continued to recite that. Hazrat Mia Abdullah Sahib uh, relates that uh, I saw Allah the Almighty. Uh, I saw the I recognized Allah Almighty through the Promised Messiah. I was 12, 13 years old. I thought that uh, that Khuda, Rasul, and Rab, these words which people often talk too much. And sometimes people say that uh, what Allah wills and what is the desire of Allah. Where is Allah? What does it eat? And where is his appearance? And what is his shape? And uh, all that, this type of childish questions I used to ask. And I went to Hazrat Khalifa Tlumsi Nuruddin Sahib. And I heard his name, that he was a man of great learning. And then I went uh, to his uh, place, to Jammu, then because I was in search of Allah. So I wanted to know, so I went to Jammu. And uh, he asked that, uh, what has brought you here? I said, just to see you. He said that uh, after two hours, I sat there, and then I came back. Uh, and uh, by, uh, But I realized that he is a pious man. And then I came to know that in Qadian, there is Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, who is a knowledgeable person. I wrote a letter to him that you please tell me that Khalful Imam Alham, that uh, to say Alhamd after the Imam, is it or Amin? If it is a loud voice, it said, All right. I said, Fa in tanazatum fi shayin faruddu ilallahi or Rasul. That if you, when there is a dispute about any matter, then you always turn to Allah and His messengers. And this is very essential to offer, recite Alhamd. And uh, regarding raising the hands, there should be no conflict and uh, you know, conflict about that. And that recitation of the uh, Surah Fatiha is very essential. Regarding other matters, uh, don't fight. If you, uh, you may do it if you like. And I continued doing it, uh, reciting it. And then I came to know that he has claimed to be the Mahdi, that the Tisa Islam has passed away. And I have come in, in his place. And. Uh, there are great scholars who are among his disciples and followers, like uh, Molvi Nuruddin Sahib, who is a, a, a royal physician. And, uh, and as I was very much impressed by these scholars, so I was very much affected and impressed. And I was worried that, oh my Allah, I do not know many things myself. And the ulama, they say many things. So how to decide about this matter? So in this, during this period, on a small hill in Rajputana, I, uh, I was walking uh, over that. Mm. He is narrating an incident, perhaps, that he was walking there uh, on the mountain, and I uh, stood at a point, and then I heard a voice that you pray. When I heard the voice, I was very happy. And then I continued running. And then I put my head in prayer in the mosque. And then I prayed to Allah Almighty that, Oh my Allah, I do not know. You know Allah, Oh my Allah, you know everything. If He is a true Mahdi, your true Mahdi, then you guide me to this. 
then give me the understanding about this so that I could do the bath. And if he's not true, then I should be, I should uh, not go close to him. And I continue to pray, uh, pray very vehemently, very sincerely. And one day I was, Hawale uh, Akhirat, uh, I was uh, the indications about the uh, last days, the, uh, the day of judgment. And when I read about this uh, incident of the uh, uh, sun and moon eclipse on the 13th for the moon and the on 18th for the sun, according to these, when I mentioned there, then it was just like a teacher teaching to his student. And he said, uh, the voice said that he, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is Imam Mahdi, that he is a true Mahdi. And this was uh, told to me very clearly and there was no doubt remaining about that. And once uh, I was coming uh, back to Qadiyan, but anyway this is incomplete here. So these were the people who were guided to uh, the, uh, the promised Messiah regarding his claim through the dreams and uh, because of the, his pious nature he was asked, uh, he was uh, reminded and uh, uh, told to do the bath again and again. So and uh, as a result of that he found the truth. Allah Almighty enabled the gen progeny and the children of these uh, companions and the grandchildren as well that they should also honor this position, their position and this status. And all of us, we should also be able to uh, uh, establish uh, a, a relationship of dedication and devotion with the, the Promised Messiah Islam. And uh, the due rights of the path, all of us should be enabled to uh, establish uh, due rights should be uh, given there. And, uh, and that uh, a spiritual revolution which he wanted to bring about, that spiritual revolution should be brought in us and we should be among those people regarding whom he has said that these are the people which I do very much wish to have in my community. And uh, in us, through him, uh, in this age and time, uh, uh, through the promise Messiah the love of the Holy Prophet وسلم, and the love of Allah Almighty can be created. Amen. Allah Almighty enable us that we should continue in the, on this path. Now you please join and the greatest prayer should be that Allah Almighty uh, uh, in the shortest possible time Allah Almighty enable the whole world to get into the bath of this greatest lover of the Holy Prophet and through their opposition, they should not be spoiling their this life and the life to come, particularly the people of. I mean, Tarek Muramtullah.